We live our lives in search of happiness. We dream of happiness in various forms. Money, success, love, family, friends, moments of relaxation, a balance. Yet for millions of men and women around the world, this quest for happiness may suddenly be shattered by an unexpected twist of fate. Amy Farber was 30 years old when she began to experience shortness of breath and chest pain. The diagnosis? Lamb, which neither she nor her doctor husband had ever heard of. It was naive that in 2005 you could be diagnosed with a fatal disease, catch it early and be able to do nothing. You want someone to direct and you know, tell you what to do and you know the experts, smart, compassionate, were saying is come back when you can't breathe. And to me it was unacceptable. Science has still been unable to explain how these cells, though appearing to be benign at first, begin multiplying over time and invade the respiratory system. Amy decided to take action herself. Within a few months after her diagnosis, she created the LAM Treatment Alliance, an association dedicated to raising money to promote research which could help find a cure for the illness. Javi Carell was 35 years old when Lam suddenly came into her life. Professor of philosophy in the UK, Javi is a young, dynamic, active woman rising in her profession. I'll do whatever it takes, right? I'll have an operation, I'll have chemotherapy, I'll take drugs, I'll follow a regime, go on a diet, I'll do whatever. And the next day we went to see a lung specialist. And he, I remember he kind of shrugged his shoulders and he said, there is no treatment, there is nothing you can do. Refusing to let the disease interfere with her life and her projects, Javi has risen above it and turned her own condition into a subject of philosophical study. She wrote a book on the real possibility of achieving a mental state of well-being and health while being afflicted by an orphan disease. Living in Poitiers, France, Corinne Durand underwent this operation seven years ago. Thanks to her new lungs and rigorously complying with immunosuppressive therapy, Corinne has been able to regain much of her ability to function. Little by little, you must reopen the door to life and rediscover the moments of happiness. Moments where you'll be able to know yourself and see yourself, not just as a sick body, or an ill-stricken human being, but as a human being that is craving happiness, joy, and laughter. A rare and chronic disease is never a happy event, nor does it offer a peaceful life. It's a long psychological and medical journey, which calls into question a person's projects, dreams, and plans for the future. But for some patients, like Amy, Javi, and Kareen, that dreadful and unexpected event can also prove to be a re-examination of their lives. <laughs>